Today we are going to build Tony Stark's workshop. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you can see here, I have a little selection of Iron Man minifigure and we are going to build a little vignette for them. So here we have an Iron Man minifigure. This comes from a junior set, Wrath of Loki, as well as the Tony Stark head and airpiece. Uh, this is a regular minifigure uh, torso and legs uh, that I swap to uh, build up the Tony Stark minifigure. While over here we have an uh, Iron Man figure from a uh, poly bag, I think from 2019, that came also with this uh, structure for the robot Dambi, uh, that I decided to recreate in a smaller uh, scale, like this one, uh, to fit into my scene. So this scene is going to be a 12 by 12, so it's going to be actually uh, a little bit bigger compared to my usual. Uh, minifigure habitats that are 8 by 8 So this is a 12 by 12 because I'm going to participate uh, to a, a contest organized by Eurobricks. Uh, I will put a link down below, uh, in which I need to build a sort of cozy room, office kind of thing for this minifigure. So here we have the base. At the bottom I wanted to add a little bit of details. Uh, so I added some modified bricks and I wanted to uh, create a sort of uh, slope on the side. So here we're going to attach a couple more of these. So we can create a angle uh, bottom, even though in the main picture that I will submit is not going to be seen much. So something like this. And I wanted a smooth corner. So I came up with this. This is actually the size of a, a two by two. Uh, so it's five plates and five plates. Uh, this is a curved slope. Uh, with a few plates and tiles and a bracket to align everything perfectly. This is going to connect over here to create a corner. So over here, uh, I'm going to add a big piece that come from the same set, the Wrath of Loki, which is a sort of big printed Avenger Tower logo uh, that I always wanted to add to some of my builds. So I'm just going to put it over here in a uh, angle position like a sort of carpet. Now here we are going to create a sort of all of armor uh, for those Iron Man uh, armors. So over here I create a little structure. Uh, I wanted to use these long uh, slopes in dark blue that I found at the Lego store. Uh, these are going to create the, the side of this uh, sort of cabinet, let's call it. Uh, here I added a little bit of details and I'm going to add a little bit more with this jumper with a slope on top. And then also we are going to add a little bit of lights with the trans blue uh, tiles with some brackets to create a little bit more interesting effect over there. At the bottom, I need to create a flat surface. So I'm going to I create another little structure here uh, with brackets again with a little bit more trans uh, trans blue uh, tiles to create the base to which then we can attach one of the armaments. So I create two of these. Uh, these things are going to connect over here. And to make it uh, smooth, I decided to uh, add some brackets on the side so that I can actually attach this little build with some grill parts. And this will allow me to have everything nice and flesh. And we can actually connect at the back over here. So this is going to sit just like this. And we have the exact space for the carpet. Same structure I created on the other side. Again, on this side, I put all the grill pieces with the bracket in the middle. So we have a little bit of a interesting, nice detail all around. So now that we have that, we can have a look at how it looks if we actually add the Iron Man suits. So we're going to put the red one here and the white one on this side. I don't know exactly how these suits are called. Uh, some fans for sure they will know. And then let's start to build at the corner at the back. So I have another printed element, which is this one that comes from the same set. Uh, I'm going to connect it with a modified uh, brick. So a little structure here at the back, and then I'm going to use this modified brick connecting to the jumper so that I can create a corner structure over here. To those antenna bases, I'm going to connect this 
this is another sort of uh, a monitor, I think from the same set, the Wrath of Loki. Uh, this is a sort of window glass with this that I think is a sticker, if I'm not wrong. And this is gonna connect to those two antenna pieces to create a screen, uh, a corner screen at the back side of the room. Uh, I'm gonna fill up the back with some bricks and add a corner shelf that is gonna sit just on top of the screen. And here we added a little bit of accessory from some of the other Avengers. So here we have a Thor Zemmer and here we have one uh, Tesseract piece. So these are gonna connect at the back. I think actually, let me turn it around. I can add a little bit of additional support in the corner so that everything is connected uh, nicely. Let's see if I can put everything in place without making a mess. Okay, this one is done and this one is done. Later we are gonna connect everything on top as well. So here we have this structure. We need to make sure that everything is connected on top. So here we have a few uh, tiles and plates. In this case, I'm going uh, with a dark gray color scheme together with the red uh, from the Iron Man. I don't have much dark red like this one. So I decided to go a little bit everywhere with the regular red and the uh, dark blue. Here I have another structure that has a corner and on top of that we are going to use it as a sort of shelf so we can add a little bit of accessory. So for example here we can put a sort of action figure as center top shelf over there. Here I added some grill piece for additional detail so I think already this uh, vignette is starting to look pretty good. Now another thing that I want to add over here is a sort of desk. So I added actually, as you can see, here, uh, a corner tile so that the carpet fits nicely. And on top, I can add this. So I use a, use a few arches to create an interesting shape. And then again, another structure with a sort of curve desk. Connect with one stud. And then I'm gonna add one minifigure phone over here for extra detail. So I think this looks okay. And from the right perspective, allow us to see both the logos on the carpet and in the corner over there. Uh, now let's go to the top shelf. As I say, I wanted to add a little bit of details. Uh, some are just gonna be like regular details, like crate and boxes, these kind of things. And also I have a couple of shields. Uh, this is Captain Americans and this is, uh, uh, what is it called, Captain Britain? I don't remember how it's called, from the What If mini series, uh, TV series, animated series. Uh, so considering that now we have all these multiverse thing into the Marvel Universe, uh, we can actually now add accessory from a uh, different, different universe, I would say. And we can fill it up a little bit more. And also, why not? Here I have this crate that is actually a Star Wars crate. But since now we have this multiverse and we can go a little bit everywhere, past and future and other things. So... Uh, it doesn't really matter, now we can actually add anything to the Marvel Universe uh, because it doesn't really make much sense anymore. Uh, now, of course, we need to add our Tony Stark. Uh, here he has a laptop. Uh, this is, I think, uh, from, the same, uh, from the same set. Actually, this was an accessory. Ah, no, I, I think it was an accessory from a... Um, what is it called? The um, White Vision, I think. So another Marvel character. By the way, I also was thinking to add something like this in front of him, uh, but it didn't look very good. I don't know whether you can see on camera. It's a bit too bulky if I add this on top of his chest. So I thought uh, to give him a more regular clothes. So he can stand there in the middle. We need to give an angle so it doesn't, it's not gonna fall off. We can add Danby here on the side, another very simple build. And also I create a little a chair for the desk. So we have these as sort of the four sort of the four wheels. And then here we are gonna attach this on top with the same color scheme, dark blue and red. So here is the completed scene that I will submit to this fan contest uh, on Eurobricks that I will link down below. Uh, just for the sake of comparison, I will show you how this looks next to a 
a minifigure habitat. This is the last one that I built on the channel that you can go and check out. So here you can compare a little bit the sizes. This is a 8x8 and this is a 12x12. Actually, the size in between these two side builds is pretty similar. So potentially you could work out something like this even into an habitat. Uh, but of course, you will have to give out a lot of the details and maybe you will have to gain a little bit of space at the back. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this build. Let me know your thoughts in the comment down below. And if you like Marvel and if you like minifigure habitat, I recommend you to go and check out my uh, D-Alk minifigure habitat. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one. Ciao, ciao.